f is the vector i plus 5j. Find the projection of f onto the line l, which passes through the points 0, negative 2, and 3, 0. Now we want to find out what this projection of f is on to l. A projection is where you'd have a right angle here between f and the, l, the line l. What we're looking for is this piece of the line. This is f sub l. And we can find this by taking the dot product of f and lambda l, where lambda is a unit vector, along the length of the line. So this is our projection. This is what we're looking for. This is the projection of f onto l. Obviously, the next thing we have to do is find lambda l. That's the unit vector along there. Any unit vector along there will be the same. But we can find that unit vector using a variety of position vectors. The easiest way to, think, to find a position vector along this thing is to connect the two points, minus 2 and 3, right here, to go from minus two, 0, minus 2, up to 3, 0, you've got to go up 2 on the y-axis and over 3. So that would be up 2 on the y-axis and over 3 on the x-axis, 3i plus 2j. Obviously, that's a position vector, not a unit vector. To find the unit vector, we've got to divide by its magnitude. The magnitude would be the square of its component squared, or the square root of 13. So, lambda L, this is our unit vector in the direction of L, is 3 over the square root of 13i plus 2 over the square root of 13j. The projection of F onto L is the dot product of F itself and this unit vector. So if you take the dot product of those two, you're going to have 3 over the square root of 13 plus 10 over the square root of 13, which makes a very nice 13 over the square root of 13, which simplifies down to the square root of 13. So the projection vector, the projection of f onto the line L is 3.61. That's the component of that. That's how long that is, that's the magnitude. To get it to be a vector, you'd have to multiply it again by that unit vector which, as these numbers happen to work out, means that the square roots of 13 will cancel, and all you end up with is 3i plus 2j. That, that's the projection of f onto l.